everybody this is pretty from it's a pretty world welcome to my channel today i'm using the a uh, couple of stem sets from the new release from simon system called lucky to know you and this is the march 2020 release and it's a beautiful release and i'm making this card for the blog hop the second day blog hop for this release um, so I'm starting off with a hot press watercolor paper and the only reason I chose this paper is because it's a smoother paper compared to other watercolor papers and that's the only reason and definitely nothing else. You can always use any other watercolor paper that you would have in your stash. And my idea is to create a full watercolor using dye inks. Now, dye inks dye, dry pretty fast the moment you lay them on the papers and they don't have much movement with water on paper the reason is because that is the way dye ink is made so that you can use it with watercolor because they don't move once they're on the paper but what i did is i spritzed the paper first with some water spritzer and then i stamped this um this first layer of the tulip leaves using willow ink from simon says stamp and what it does it it helps the dye ink to disperse in the water rather than stamping solid it disperses because there's water on the surface and the second time after i i inked it up i added water directly to the stamp before i inked it and the third time i just added a little bit right at the bottom so it gives that darker shadow the one that i showed just before and then i took the second layer there are only two layers to the stamp set and then i added um i think it was apple ink i'm not sure i'll put it in the description box below and i did the same thing because the paper was already wet i did not need to spritz the paper rather I started spritzing the, the the stamp set and then what I did I inked the I just mushed my ink pad on my surface and I picked up the dark ink and I laid it on the places where the darker shadow would be just to intensify that darker shade a bit more and that's what helps the dye ink to move on paper so the third now I'm using the tulip the flower itself and this also is two layers and it easily fits within the gaps of those leaves and it's a beautiful easy uh, stamp layering set which anyone can do seriously so again I started off by stamping the first time directly onto the paper again the paper is moist and the second time I added the water to directly to the stamp and I stamped it and I did this multiple times because it required it to go I had to do it a few times mainly because of the watercolor and the water that I was putting in the paper and then this is the layer image the shadow image for that tulip and this i used holly hawk holly hawk ink from simon says stamp and it's a darker pink shade and i did the same thing i just kept layering them one after the other first directly and then second and third time spritzing it with water and once i was done adding this multiple times i did the same thing i added the holly hawk holly hawk ink onto my surface and i picked it using my aqua brush and i just um, added a little bit more darker shading in the places where there would be shadow and you again you have to do multiple times and it, it doesn't look good the first time you have to stay at it and you have to continue to keep stamping it a few times but it works beautifully and the ink does disperse not a whole lot like how watercolor soluble ink would do but it does disperse because of the moisture in the paper that we laid before and that does give a kind of a watercolor for watercolor effect and now i'm just drying after it was all done i was dry i dried it up and then i took that willow ink once more took my brush my aqua brush and i started painting just random bushy lines uh, creating as if there is um a foreground of like there's a there's not like there's a background of uh grass or like the tulip is not just there but it's in a meadow where there is there's other greenery as well so i'm just laying a few green strokes and making sure it, it's a varied lens some tall some short just kind of filling up that area and making it look like these tulips are a part of a meadow where there are other 
uh, grass and other things in the far background so obviously they don't have to be super bright they just have to just a hint it's more like a hint that there's something in the background i don't know if you can see it right there um, i uh, the the sunlight from in my room was just so bright i the video looks really really bright so i'm sorry about that i was enjoying the sunlight and i didn't want to cut it off so there you go <laughs> anyways so then what i did i took this gold pink uh, paint pan uh, this is from ganzai to uh, uh, ganzai tambi kit and though i just diluted that gold and i added that gold to wherever the shadow of the tulip is and not a whole lot and the gold itself i kind of um i don't know how to say i painted it not like you can't see gold lines but it's kind of that gold kind of gave a little bit of a yellow tint with sparkle to the tulips and i did that to the tulips wherever the shadows were as well as for the uh, the grass and I, it, it just added so much more um, life to these tulips. I, I, I just I just love the way this turned out. I, I'm honestly the camera does not do justice to how beautiful the shine looked, but it is there. Trust me, it's really really beautiful. So I continued adding that gold um, uh, ink uh, again only in the places where there were shadows which we laid with the darker color and i i'm just going to tilt it in the light a bit a bit closer to the camera so you can see i'm not sure if you can see much but there you go so there's a little bit of shine <laughs> i'm sorry that it, it, my room was so bright seriously uh but again i i love the feeling of spring in the air so i was just enjoying the sunlight um, and then i took I dipped my pen back in the pan and then i just uh, kind of uh, wick the water like the paint all over the surface just where the flowers were and now it was time to add the sentiment now this sentiment is a, is a joint sentiment because there is um uh, what you call um, a die that goes with it so when you stamp it you can die cut all the sentiments together but I did not have the die and I only wanted one particular sentiment in it a label in it so what I did I just put the sentiment where I wanted it I covered all the other places that I don't want the ink to be and then I inked that one label sentiment with black ink and then I stamped it right on the top corner not top corner on the top part of the of the card uh of the card panel basically this card is a one layer and then i got some ink in there and all i did is i just took a sand eraser and i erased that off and it it, it came off easily actually i was super surprised how beautifully it came off and it wasn't even visible in the end and you'll see that in the picture and then i took a top folding um craft card stock and i laid this without giving any lib like a border around it i just laid it directly onto the front panel and it was time to add a few gemstones you could have i mean i could have easily not put any gemstones to this car but i just wanted um a little bit of like a layer on or texture on this card because it was such a because it was a one layer card i really wanted something more to pop off the surface of the of the card panel and then i added this uh, all over like i just kind of scattered them in different places and that completed the card and here's the final look of the card i hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel and i will see you next time Bye bye.